Welcome to the recap of today's Live Code Hangout. Today we've been working on an issue for the Western Friend website. We're going to create a news feature that allows you to display news items called Extra Extra. Let's see if I can get back to the uh, main Extra Extra page and categorize those pages by topic and kind of the type of news um, content it is, as well as a relationship to what are called yearly meetings in the, um, the Quaker community. Their organizations are kind of groups, uh, Quaker uh, people who meet at a meeting house on a, usually like a weekly basis or sometimes annually, depending on the size of the meeting. Essentially, the existing Western Friend website has this extra, extra page that the editor kind of manually um, makes. And in fact, it's kind of a copying and pasting um, task where articles and uh, items are added as content on the Western Friend website and then copied and pasted. The link is copied and pasted into this big list, uh, this growing list. and. Um, we want to basically make it so the editor can just create the news item and the list will automatically grow by itself. And we might get um, a little bit more um, sort of fancy, so to speak, to do a faceted searching interface where you can kind of filter by topic, for example. Um, so we're taking this manual process and we're kind of automating parts of it for our new Wagtail website. So today, I'll show you the user interface. We've got a menu, a news um, menu, where you can define the news topics and the types of posts and types of news items. Um, we're working our way through a small checklist here. The next one will be adding the news item um, model. We'll do that in a follow-up um, live coding session with a few fields and mainly these foreign key fields. So we'll get to explore those in Wagtail. And I've registered two of these with the Wagtail admin interface, which is what gives us this nice pop-out menu and this interface to um, add news types and edit the existing ones. And I'll discuss with Mary if we want to do a faceted search approach here. In any case, for each of these topics or news types, we'll display a list, a growing list of news items as well as on the news index page, we'll have a have to determine, but I believe we'll either list the topics and types here or have a growing list with faceted searching capabilities. This is a feature um, in progress. We're kind of it's a new or an improvement to the existing workflow, as I mentioned previously. We'll look at a bit of the code here. So I opened a pull request and linked it to this issue, and. It's about 20 files, most, um, you know, a little bit of boilerplate and re re repeated code. So we created a new um, app and we registered it, a news app, Django, and d defined um, some models. And our home page is going to um, have a sub link to the news. So we got the home page, and then underneath that is news. So the news page is a child of home in the wagtail content hierarchy. I'm going to go um, top to bottom here. It might not make the most conceptual sense, but it's going to be the quickest for, way for me to review the code um, to make sure you, I cover all the changes and explain those. Uh, when I was uh, writing the code, I'm referring to other code we've written to borrow uh, lessons from the past that I might not like remember off the top of my head. Uh, without having to do a lot of searching or figuring stuff out. This is a kind of conventional feature, so I just want to turn to um, where we've already solved these problems. I did notice some optional cleanup code, so I just commented to myself to remember I might be able to remove these. We're not using an autocomplete widget, I believe. Um, but in any case, so I, I scaffolded a news app, and it comes with some boilerplate stuff, config and admin pie that are empty. I migrated in these um, fields. I'll, explain the fields more when we get to the topics rather than look at the migration code that was auto-generated by Django. Um, so here's the news models and uh, boils down to it's a everything is um, inheriting from the wagtail page model meaning we're placing these pages these 
types of pages into the tree of wagtail pages. So this news index page is here. It's going to list the news or have a faceted search on the side, something along those lines. Um, so essentially, we have this pattern where every kind of page we define has an intro text. That way, the editor can always insert some information or links or other rich formatted text there. Um, just as a nice thing and consistent thing. So all the pages that are um, created, there's a little bit of opportunity to uh, personalize them or whatever is needed. Uh, we displayed the intro field, and I've um, we're editing it. We also display the title without, hmm. oh, because I'm displaying the content panels by default. Interesting. Um, Wagtail is a hierarchical page model, and you can kind of define what can go where, which is a good way of keeping your content organized. So this news index page should only exist underneath the home page, and it should only allow news topics and news types uh, to be defined, the index pages for those to be defined below it. What that translates to is essentially when I go to the page model and I look at this news, it's like a folder because it um, can contain sub items. If, if there's no sub items, it doesn't turn into a folder icon. And that's like an analogy that you're kind of like in this filing cabinet, you're organizing things in a tree, there's folders within folders within folders. So within our news um, index page, we can define sub pages for topics and types. That way, when I define a new topic, it goes in the right folder. When I define a new type, it goes in the right folder. And we'll have another folder here for news items. And then you have relationships between those. We'll get into that as we progress. But essentially, the, those are controlled um, that you can only put a certain thing in a certain folder by a parent page types and sub page types. This max count says that we should really only have one news index page. An index page is a listing, basically, of all this stuff. And it's like the folder. You should only have one news index folder. Otherwise, things would get messy. Um, we're not doing anything here, but the context method allows you to pass in information to the template. And in the future, we're going to be passing in news items. So I just left this get context method here as a reminder there. Um, we'll run some Python code here that will add uh, an attribute or a property to the um, context dictionary um, that's going to contain the news items. But we have to determine if there will be faceted searching, so I don't know how that's going to come to pass. I'll leave it there. So this is essentially the same pattern for the rest of these. Uh, I just left the gate context uh, defined for these next couple ones. There's an index page for the news topics and an index page for the news types. Um, they both display an intro text and essentially we only want one of each index page and we want to constrain where it can go in that page tree that it should be below the news index page in this case instead of at the root of the website and that only news topics should go into the news topics index page and only news types should go into the news type index page. It's a little bit of boilerplate, but it keeps things real organized, and you'll have to define it this one time. So, and it also gives you a nice clean page uh, hierarchy. So I can say, you know, show me the news page, or if I go back, and I say, show me a page, topic, news, let's say topics, spiritual deepening. When I view this live, we get a real clean URL hierarchy. That's all coming just from the Wagtail page model, I don't have to write any URLs or anything like that. URLs by. So then the other pattern, we have these index pages which serve as folders, like kind of to organize things, and lists to display all of the items, which we will pass into the context. I haven't defined those currently. I will add those in the next programming session. So once you've got the index pages, you define the actual content news topic has an intro field all of these follow that pattern so my templates are very consistent as well uh, you define the field panels that should display in the editor interface and i just realized i could have done this and then only added the intro field and the title would have automatically come along um, one thing is when we're editing some pages you might want to define you might want to schedule it for later or make it private. But it turns out um, those aren't actually relevant 
the scheduling publication date and the privacy settings aren't relevant for certain types of content. So I should be hiding these, to be honest, from all of these. These settings panels should be hidden from all of the um, page types I'll go through and make a note to clean that up. But for example, if I go to news topic, news pages, news topics, page with deepening, and I edit it, there's no um, settings panel there because I, I zeroed it out here. I need to be consistent, so I have to do that in each place. Uh, but basically, that's it. So just defining where it should go in the page hierarchy, news topics, go into the news topic index page. They don't have any sub pages. There will be a relationship between news items and news topics, but no, I don't think we'll be doing a hierarchy of topics. That's, but that, that could be possible, and in which case we would let topics exist under topics. So I put a news topic here, and then you could have a kind of a self-referential hierarchy, you know, and sort of not really, but literally, but uh, like a hierarchy of the same page type, <laughs> which makes sense. And like, especially when you're categorizing things, some, a lot of times we put, um, you know, we categorize reality in hierarchical ways. Like uh, you've got continents and countries and districts or states and municipalities and those types of things are all kind of like a hierarchical way of categorizing things. Um, that, topics can also sort of be hierarchical. I've figured it out. And news type also follows the same pattern, so it's not really worth explaining those. And the last major thing or significant piece is that our templates are, because I'm using a consistent structure, uh, we just have to define a template for each of those new page types I've introduced so that it can render it here on the front end. Wagtail doesn't concern itself with any of the front end templating. It's completely up to the developer. So we just use just regular Django templates. We have a base template that renders in our navigation menu and some other items and the Wagtail um, bar here. And we use a Wagtail core tags because we're, we have a rich text field that we want to parse into uh, HTML and not display the raw HTML tags. And essentially we just display in a content block, we display these page fields. And when I pass the context into these pages will also be iterating over the content, potentially grouping it together depending on if we go with the faceted search or if we go like use the read group method to group by topic or group by type, but, but that'll all have to be worked out later. And so these are basically exactly the same, all of these templates, because I kept a very consistent structure, so it allows my code to be um, consistent. Uh, the, actually, this is the other major thing. So we then wanted that nice navigation menu. So that when I come over here to news, I have a flyout menu and I can manage my topics and types. And later, news items will appear here as well. So we just Wagtail has some helpers for that. And we import our models that we want to register. And we create a model admin for each of them, uh, specifying the menu icon and label. and if you want to control the sort order, you can do that. It defaults to alphabetical for the menus with the same weight, menu items with the same weight. And we don't want it to appear in our settings. And, uh, you know, I, this page explorer um, here, you know, we maybe want to see that there's topics underneath there. So we don't want to exclude that. Um, it does pagination and everything for us. So I just say I want max 10 per page. We can list them and search um, you know I don't know how many topics topics there will be but if we go to news oh, types or topics you know you can see it's got a pagination interface that's not in use yet I can add more all this is gen auto generated by wagtail everything here on the back end is pretty much auto generated by wagtail and gives you it gives you nice um, ways of overriding and defining your own um, functionality as needed so yeah, we just defined two model admins. They're basically the same code. And we grouped them together to get that nice flyout menu and specified one of these font awesome icons. So it's not so generic as the folder icon there. Looks a little bit nicer that way. And it's uh, easy to distinguish from the others. Uh, and likewise, I think if you define the top, the icon, they appear here. Um, so you just put these sub items in the model admin group and register it and it displays in the wagtail menu. 
So that was a little bit longer than I thought. The recap I thought would be a little bit shorter. But in any case, thanks for sticking with me if you're watching this video to the end. Uh, do feel free to leave any questions or comments in the, um, below the video, and I'll respond as soon as possible. Thanks a lot for your time. Have a great day.